infrastructure. And in terms of the overarching superstructure of the new provisions, can you give us a snapshot of that? So what, what, what's the headline elements that, that form the new rules? Right, so the new rules are, that what they've done is it's, it's set into, there's 22 parts to the new rules. There's the, like the old rules, there's the separate parts on the different types of insolvency proceedings. Mm. Um, then there are a lot more common parts. So the old rules, it, it was very much, there were some common parts, but not as many. Mm. So we've got part one is interpretation and definitions. Uh, part two is CVAs, part three is administrations, part four is receiverships. Part five, six and seven are what was the old winding up part in the 86 rules and they've now been split into separate sections. Mm. So you've got uh, five is MVLs, six is CVLs, seven is compulsory winding up. Mm. Then you've got uh, eight is IVAs debt relief orders which were added later are now a separate part and that is part nine. Mm. Bankruptcy is part 10. Part 11 is restriction orders, undertakings and about the, and, and the registers that are required for the personal insolvency mm. proceedings. So yeah. bankruptcy, debt relief orders and IVAs. Mm. 12 is court procedure. 13 is the official receiver all the special things that relate to the official receiver only. Uh, 14 is claims and distributions, 15 is decision making, 16 proxies, 17 the committees, uh, 18 is now a new common part which is progress reports and remuneration, 19 is disclaimers, 20 is persons at risk of violence, 21 is the EC regulations, and 22 the permissions to act as director. Okay and in terms of the overarching superstructure is there anything generally you want to say about how that structure is an improvement on the old provisions or is can be critically evaluated in any way? Yeah it's definitely definitely an improvement on the old structure simply because you know if you are involved in say for instance you only do IVAs mm. then you can go to the IVA section. Yeah. You will st still need to look at the other sections on the general things like progress reports um, and proxies and committees and so on mm. as required and claims and distributions. Um, but it does mean that you're not, especially for liquidations and winding up, you can go to a specific section and know that you've got everything you need in that part of mm. the new roles. And is that exhaust, well we haven't seen the final set yet, but yeah. is that exhaustive sense in the uh, uh, of each encapsulated section definitely certain or will we see incursions and caveats perhaps between the official receiver part you mentioned and CVLs that yeah, there, should there, be aware there, there might there, there might be two things there might be some overlap mm. um, and there might be some gaps um, but until we see the final version can't be 100% sure mm. where we are on that.